Hey, what's going on guys? It's White Chaos. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm just going to be making another short vlog like I did the other day, saying that I can't record videos. So, I am currently in the process of getting Windows 10. So I hope I have that like next week, maybe this week, whenever I get it. Hoping to get that soon, so I can start pushing out videos again, and start uploading a lot of daily Destiny videos. So psyched to get back to doing that once I get Windows 10. So, that's what I'm doing right now. But this vlog is about the Touch of Malice. If you guys don't know what the Touch of Malice is, it's the best gun in the game. Now a lot of you might think, no, the Black Spindle is the best gun in the game. Let me tell you why that is not the best gun in the game, and let me tell you why the Touch of Malice is. The Touch of Malice is a scout rifle that has 11 in its magazine. Let me just show you right here its stats. I have it on my console right now. You see those stats? Pretty awesome, right? But it has 11 magazine and it's got all these perks. I already maxed it out. You know, use like 30 mode of light to max that thing out within minutes. But you do need like 20 hadium flakes to actually upgrade the perks. So I had to go farm for that a little bit. Now you might be thinking, what is, what's so special about this weapon? It's the hardest one to get in the game. Why is it the best? Well, it's the best because once you're on the last bullet of the magazine, so you can shoot 10 in the magazine. Once you're on the last bullet, it's unlimited amount of bullets you can shoot. So you can just hold it down. It's it's also a fully automatic scout rifle too, so you can just hold it down the whole way through. Now when you're at the last bullet, you just hold it down and it'll keep firing that last bullet. Now that last bullet does double damage to enemies. Very good for Oryx, very good for the daughters of Oryx, of Oryx, mainly because when you're in that bubble you get unlimited health, so you can just keep firing that thing up there at the boss. Now the reason why I mentioned the health is because every time you fire a bullet on the last round, it takes damage on your Guardian. So I calculated it. You can shoot 31 bullets on the last bullet of the magazine before you die. If you shoot 32, you're dead. Now the reason why I brought up Oryx and Daughters of Oryx is because if you have a few people on your fire team with this weapon, along with another few people who have the Black Spindle, which I'll get to that in a second, you are just going to destroy Oryx and the Daughters of Oryx like nothing ever happened. You don't even need Weapons of Light. It's that good. Now, like I said before, it does double damage on the last bullet, so you're going to be doing tons of damage on Oryx and Daughters of Oryx. We did this the other day with three Touch of Malices and I think a Black Spindle. We just obliterated those two bosses. Really, we didn't even need Weapons of Light, but we just had it anyways for the other people on the team. So, I mean, it's a really awesome weapon. Now, this, indeed, I think is the best weapon in the game. One, because you just get a lot of ammo with it and you can just keep shooting it with double damage at the last bullet and two look at that it comes at 310 so yes this is the hardest hardest weapon to get in the game but you know i still got it i still wanted to get it you guys can still get it too but you have to go through the raid defeat bosses and that's kind of hard to do if you don't have a good fire team now onto the black spindle i don't have it equipped on my guy i don't think let me just back out let me look at the guy no i don't have it equipped on me right there Got all that stuff instead. My Defiance of Yasm. I've been using that with the Touch of Malice. It's flawless. It's pretty cool. Now the Black Spindle came at 310. Apparently millions of Guardians. Well, I guess people got the weapon, the Black Spindle, and it came at 310 damage. And it's super overpowered, especially against Oryx and Daughters of Oryx. But after using the Touch of Malice, I would have to say that the Touch of Malice is way better than the Black Spindle. Now, if you guys don't know, I think next week, or actually tomorrow, either tomorrow or next week, on Tuesday, whenever the next reset is, they're going to put in a patch to take the damage from the every single black spindle in the game, from 310 to 290, and everything. Uh, now the black spindle that you buy in the kiosk, they're going to decrease that to 280. It's at 310, uh, 300 right now. So they're going to have a major patch on that, and they're also decreasing the damage on that weapon. Now, there's no word on the Touch of Malice yet if they're going to do anything with that. Hopefully not, because that's a very, very, very difficult weapon to get. And, you know, whoever gets it deserves to have it. It's that simple. Now, that's practically all I wanted to make and or talk about in today's vlog. I may do these daily. If you want me to do these daily, talk about Destiny and stuff like that, like what I've been doing lately in Destiny, comment down below, leave a like, and I will just make more vlogs i guess about destiny so that's it hopefully you enjoyed the video like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time for more
Destiny vlogs and content after I get Windows 10. Peace!